guys. Victoria from Creative2, www.creative2.us. You can check me out there. And today I'm going to um, answer the question of what is email migration and do you really need it? Obviously, this is a topic that came up in your life, and I'm going to help you understand that in the simplest way there can be. So email or mailbox migration is when you take all the email messages from one email client to a new email client. This includes all your messages and attachments like documents, and sometimes you can even migrate contacts too. All right, so hopefully that was easy to understand, but I can, I'm gonna make it a little easier and I'm gonna give you an example. So let's pretend that something happened to your phone. Now, the, the thing that happens is you need a new phone, and so now you're going to take everything that was within that phone, your contacts, um, all of your apps, and da-da-da-da, and you're going to move it into the new cell phone that you just purchased. So that's kind of what email migration is. You're taking one, you're taking your email contact, uh, your email account, I'm sorry, and you're migrating it over to a new email client. All right. So, and I'm going to give you examples of that so that you're not confused. So, um, here are email migration common scenarios and examples to help you understand this better. So here's the first scenario. You are moving from one hosting server to another. Your example is moving you from GoDaddy to DreamHost. All right, so let's say you set up emails with GoDaddy, but you're switching to a new a new hosting server. So you're let's pretend you're switching over to DreamHost. Um, so now you're going to have to take that email and switch it over to DreamHost. So that's what migration is. You're migrating over to another server, right? The second scenario is you're moving from one email client or provider to another. An example of this would be moving from Office 365 to Google Apps. All right, so let's say you have an email with Office 365, but now you want to move over to Google Apps. That's an email migration scenario. Do you really need email migration? I think that's the question, especially if you have a tech telling you that you should get it. I would recommend, if he's recommending it or she, then I would go with it. They're not lying to you, um, especially because if you want to keep everything that's in your email account, then you will need email migration. If you are switching from hosting companies or if you're switching to a new client, um, you need to migrate because if not, you're going to lose everything that was within that email account when you're switching over to a new host or email client, right? But if you don't care about losing old messages, your attachments, the context, then you can start fresh with the same email address you had before, okay? So yes, you keep your email address such as your name at your business.com. You don't lose your email address, guys, um, when you're switching over, um, especially if you still own your domain name. So if you own yourbusiness.com, and this is just an example, right, but that's your business name.com, um, then you will not lose your email address. So you don't lose that. You only lose what's inside. So that, again, that's old messages, attachments, such as PDFs and documents that people have sent you, da, 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 and contacts that you had saved within that old email account. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. If you need help with email migration, our team can help you migrate your email in no time for as little as $40 per email account so that you don't have to stress about it. If you don't have a tech and you need help with it, we can do it for you. We also provide website design and inbound marketing services that will help your local business grow. And you can contact us via our website at www.creative2.us or you can email us at hello at creative2.us, guys. And don't forget, if this video helped you, Please don't forget to subscribe below and to give this video a thumbs up. All right, guys, so may the tech force be with you. My name is Victoria from Creative2, and I will talk to you in another video.